Have you ever wanted to list multiple things on eBay, but you didn't have the time to list them all individually? Fortunately, eBay has a multi-listing tool that not a lot of people know about, but it is super useful. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. So I'm logged into eBay Seller Hub, and then I'm gonna click Listings right here, and you actually need to click on it. You can't click on Active, or you can't click on Create Listing there. So you click on Listings, and then on this drop down here, you do Multiple Listings. And then it pulls up this multi-listing tool with some updates. So the first thing, the easiest thing to do is just list one thing at the beginning. So that's what we're gonna do. Recently I made a video where I opened a lot of Bowman Chrome University cards from 2021 through 23. So I scanned all the cards that I wanted to list to show you guys and now we're about to list them. So there's this Bo Nix autograph number 25. That is by far the best card. And we're going to list about eight different cards here at the same time. So to start, I'm going to do this one. It's a Bo Nix pink and it is numbered to 150. So here's my title, 2023 Bo Nix Bowman University Chrome Football, pink, number to 150, RC Rookie Organ. And then if I, you have the option here, auction or buy it now. If I wanted to price check it, I'd come over to eBay and I'd search for something like that. And then I'd go to sold items and see what any of them have sold for recently. So it looks like it is worth about $10. But I'm just going to, on something like this, let the market decide. So we're not going to do a buy it now price. We're just going to do point. 99 as a starting price offers uh, no you can just scroll over here at the bottom so we can see a little bit more start time immediate buyer pays a 399 shipping so now we're going to select a category after I gave it the title it's going to be able to pull some ideas so we're going to say trading card singles that looks good. I'm going to select one business day handling time and then item specifics now that it knows the category we're going to start filling all this in Sport, football, season, 2023. That's all we're gonna do there. For the description, we're going to do something very simple, like this, very simple to the point. And then on condition, this part's also required. We're gonna say ungraded, card condition, near mint or better. I just got it out of the pack. And now we got all that stuff done. So now's where it gets good. I click this check mark and then I hit copy listing and it asks me how many duplicates I want to make. I have eight other cards that we're going to sell, so I'm just going to do eight and then it is going to duplicate all of this. And now for the fun part, and we're going to do a time lapse, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to fill out the required information about the rest of the cards, at least starting with the title. It's nice because it auto-populated the information, as you can see, and since they're all from the same product, there's not a whole lot that I need to change, but it's a whole lot easier to do it here than it would be if I was just thumbing between individual listings. You can see on item description, even if I click this one in the middle, it's gonna have the exact same description as before. And now, basically, the only thing left to individualize other than the price is the titles. So I'm going to do a time-lapse as I change the titles. All right, boom, got all these filled in, so that looks good. And it's very important if you're making multiple listings that are all kind of based on the same thing to fill one in before you duplicate. That way you have everything auto-populated and it's pretty easy. So the bottom one is the bone nix, and we're gonna just start going in and filling in pictures, and don't worry, I'm gonna time-lapse this as well, but I'm picking pictures from my recent downloads, and then I'm going to add them to the listing. So here's the number to 25, Bo Nix. Just kidding, I got the wrong picture from the back. Alright, here's the number to 25 person. And now I'm going to fill in the other pictures to match the listings. It's really nice because it lets you hit save and next so you can transition between your listings super duper fast. All right, that might have been a time lapse, but it didn't take too long at all. I did notice that I had a typo in the Jackson Smith. I copied his name, so I did get that fixed. Uh, saw that while I was going through them, so it's nice to kind of review them as you go. So with this Bo Nix card, it's worth enough that I don't want to necessarily do an auction, so we're going to change this to a buy it now. And I'm going to make the buy it now price $399.99, and I'm going to allow offers. So this card's going to be different. You can see here in the column, available quantity, one on all of them. 
So right here's the format. You can have them all sorted by auction or buy it now. And just after a quick scan, we're going to look through one day business handling on all of them, 99 cent auction. We're going to start them at 6.59 Pacific Standard Time. I'm in Central Standard Time, so I don't know why the time's messed up, but whatever. Looks like the description is all good to go. And now we're going to hit Submit All. Review nine, now it's processing them. Confirmation, nine listings are now live. And just to confirm, if I go to my eBay listings, here they all are. You can just click on any of them to check it out. And that looks very good to me. So description's all here, has all my info. Picture looks as good as it's gonna be. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helps you list multiple things. It's super useful, saves you a lot of time, and you can maybe save some more time by watching another one of our videos. Just click up there. Thanks.